up YouTube, it's your boy Emperor Mufasa back with another NBA 2K16 video. Can you guys please drop 35 likes on this YouTube video for me? Now you guys asked me this in my last video in the comment section. I noticed that you guys were like, Emperor Mufasa, did you notice that NBA 2K17 is gonna have timed layups and timed floaters? And you can now angle your jump shots from being a backboard, from hitting the backboard or just moving the angle of your shot. In NBA 2K17, by timed layups and timed um, floaters, I mean that they're actually gonna have releases now. NBA 2K17 came out and said that layups will now have releases. You now have to time it, just like if it was a jump shot. You're gonna have to time your layup. The exact same thing with the floater. The floater will now have a release, which I actually do like because I hated not having a release on the floater. That's what makes it so inconsistent. I don't know about a layup. I have not really gave it that much thought about having a release on a layup, but we'll see how it is. You can already see people doing the Steph Curry high-ass layup, perfect releases on the layup, making it unstoppable to block. You can already see that happening in NBA 2K17. Now a lot of people are kind of angry about these decisions that NBA 2K17 is doing about these jump shots, these layups, these floaters. Because the reasoning behind these changes is because NBA 2K17 wants to start forming a skill gap between the really good players and the average players. Now I can see why a lot of people are angry at these decisions that 2K is going in because a lot of people just play this game to have fun, stress relieving kind of deal. People do not want to see professional gaming incorporated into NBA 2K17 as I mean mug this man after that dunk. Woo! <laughs> so I completely understand why people are angry. NBA 2K17 maybe they want to maybe NBA 2K17 just wants to incorporate more maybe they just want to become kind of like Call of Duty maybe that is not the best ex best example I mean Call of Duty has a tournament almost every other month they get tons of viewers they're on they're on actual TV they get tons of money for doing all that stuff all that advertising I feel like NBA 2K is probably on the way there itself too having tournaments having professional players it's just a matter of time guys so it's going to be very interesting to see where NBA 2K17 is going to be in a couple of years. By the changes they make to their games, it is going to be easy to see if they are focused more on the competitive side of gaming. Just catering to the casual players like ourselves. Just really play this game for fun. If there are professional players in NBA 2K17, you know it's going to make for some good ass gameplay that I'm going to bring to you guys, of course. But in my eyes, I don't see it as a big deal. No matter how good you are at the game, do you always have some sort of weakness? Even that is just a video game. Don't take it so serious. Do not have gray hair like my my player. Don't stress out. You know I'm gonna bring you guys tutorials on everything in the next 2K. But if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I recommend you subscribe right now. I don't care what it is. Just ask me a comment, or I mean, just ask me a question in the comments section. Especially when the next NBA 2K comes out, I'll make a video on it to help you guys out any way I can. You guys can have a better chance at these quote unquote pro players. But yeah, guys, please do not forget to hit that like button on this YouTube video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I really want to know your thoughts. It's going to be interesting to see what you guys think about this next, about these changes. Again, it has been your boy Emperor Mufasa, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.